How are you? Welcome in. Yeah, what can I help you with today? Okay, so fun. Where are you going? Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. 
Okay, so what exactly are we thinking? What are you looking for? Do you have suits, um, hats, accessories, dresses? Some dresses? Okay. Um, well, I definitely agree. When you think, you know, beach vacation, you need a couple really pretty sundresses. Okay, well, yes, I actually have some sundresses I can show you and help you with um, in this section over here. And I'll just bring them to you um, one at a time, kind of explain what's going on. Can I get you anything while you wait? Do you need a glass of water or a bottle of water? Anything? You're all set? Okay, well, just let me know if you change your mind, all right? Okay, let me grab that first item. Okay, so... We do have this set. It is new in. Um, and this is a top and skirt set. Um, this is really nice material. You can see it's very breathable, which is great for the warmer climate, right? Um, and this is nice too because you can wear it on vacation, but you can also style this a lot of different ways when you get home. Yes, I actually have this piece and I really love it or these pieces and really love them. Um, the skirt does have a nice high slit. What else? Um, I mentioned the breathable material. The red is nice and the tie-dye is kind of, you know, this isn't, I will say this isn't like your typical beach dress that you think of, but it is a little bit different and you can still work with it within that realm. Yeah, okay, so here is option one. Like I said, the fabric is really, really breathable, um, and I love this. I wear it all the time. Yes, okay, so I can put all of these to the side, and then once you decide what you'd like, we can go over everything, okay? All right, perfect. So, number one. Next, we do have just a classic cotton maxi dress. In my opinion, this is a staple. Um, do you have anything like this? Okay, you do. Um, well, we won't waste too much time on it then, unless you would like another. You can see it's very flattering on. Um, I think this would probably be your size. You look about the same as me. <laughs> yes. Um, so, and I will say I have one of these also. <laughs> um, you know, workers discount. I do have a lot of this stuff, but really nice, soft. Um, exactly the kind of thing you want to be wearing when you have a sunburn, if you know what I mean. Yes, just slips right on, um, not too tight, you know, you can kind of get away with having your aloe on and the dress won't be sticking to you too much. Exactly. Um, but really cute, really pretty. We also have this in different colors if you would be interested. We do have a couple, um, of the tie-dye variety in this material, but you can just feel it's nice and soft. Yeah, that's the biggest selling point for this when I try to get people to buy it. It's so soft, worth it, and it's very affordable um, compared to some of our other options. Okay, so there's this maxi dress. Just for a little bit of variety, I do have a romper. Um, really beautiful open back kind of situation going on cinched waist um, billowy sleeves again very breathable I don't know if you can see but the material is very kind of like whimsical um, you get a nice breeze <laughs> in this you know what I mean so um, great for hotter weather I don't have something like this, but this is something I need to add to my collection. Another piece that you can really dress up or dress down, um, depending on if you do heels, flats, what kind of accessories you do. Yes, so this really nice blue color. This is the only color that this comes in, um, but really pretty, especially with a nice tan, you know. Yes, really, really beautiful nice V. Again, to show off the tan. Lots of nice details. So, got 
this. You like this one? Okay, I can put this in the yes pile if you want. All right, sounds good. And we can bring all of the stuff up at the end. This one is not too bad, I don't think, when you look at the price tag. Yeah, not too bad, okay. Okay, next we have another set. This is another skirt and top, so it's kind of like a cowl neck top. And it's ties in the back, ties closed in the back. Long maxi skirt, also with a slit. This one is more of a silky variety. Um, I will say this one you tend to get a little bit hotter in. For whatever reason, the material does tend to stick to you a little bit. But most nights that you're going to be on vacation, um, you'd be surprised. It doesn't stay too uncomfortably warm. Right. But this piece is very fun. Lots of pretty colors going on. We've got kind of like pinks, oranges, and then a little bit of um, yellows and browns just to pop. But you can see the top is a little bit on the flimsier side, I will say. Um, so you do want to watch yourself. Um, I would say this is a great dinner option, not a great drinking option with the top situation, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you might have a little slip up in this. Oh, the top, or I'm sorry, the back also zips close, which is really nice. No buttons or anything. Um, so yeah, this is a fun option. Definitely different. Yeah, different than a lot of stuff that you will see. No to this one? Okay, no worries. We've got some more options coming, okay. So here we have another dress, one of my personal favorites. Um, when you see this, I just think it screams beach, right? Um, you look like you should have a tan, be drinking like a Mai Tai, exactly. So it does tie in the back like that. It is rather form fitting. But it's this beautiful yellow and pink. It is full length um, and it does stretch quite a bit. So it will hit the ground, <clears throat> hugs your curves nicely, um, does have a little bit of tightness in the stomach kind of to um, compress. Yes, a lot of people do like that <laughs> attribute. Yes, really pretty. Um, I would say if you're going to try any of these on, even if this one isn't speaking to you right away, I would say definitely try it on. It's really, really beautiful. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people like this one. A lot of people like this one. I really like it, so that's why I tend to push it a little bit more. Exactly. Okay. And I have one more option. got this beautiful black gown. It is open back. I have it tied a little shorter just so you can see um, on the hanger what it looks like. But it is a very deep v-cut. Um, on me it comes down to below my sternum. Yep. Um, zipper on the side so you can kind of slip right in. This is a great, great, great vacation dress. Um, I wore one in this style recently, not the same print, but um, the style is really flattering. Yes, it's flattering on small and large chests. I'm a little bit on the smaller side, um, and the deep V was still very flattering on. Um, I know that's not always the case with dresses like this that show a lot of cleavage, but this one, um, I would say definitely, even if you're not super ample, in that area is still very, very flattering on. So um, you can see it's got these pretty, I wanna say roses, pretty roses, 
pink, hot pink and light pink with splashes of green and blue, which really make it pop. Yeah, and you can pair this with a lot of different shoes, which is what makes it a cool option. Um, you could do a red, you could do a black, you could do a white. You can, you know, kind of play with it, and you can do a lot of different um, accessories. This one is just a good dress for having options. Right, okay, so out of the dresses we've seen so far, you liked the romper, you're going to try the yellow dress, and are there any other ones that you would like to take a look at? Okay, so not the plain maxi dress, you said you already have plenty of those. Do you want to try this one? It's totally up to you. Okay, you do want to try this one, and you do want to try the yellow one. Alright, well, I can go put these in the dressing room for you. Is there anything else you need my help with? Well, it has been a pleasure. If you need any other sizes, anything, you can let me know or you can ask one of my associates for help, okay? All right, have fun trying them on. Bye. Hello. How are you? Good. So, you are here for our informational and introductory 10 minute massage, right? Okay, so. Let me just explain what we're going to do. Um, I'll spend a few minutes running you through each of the massage, um, each of the types of massage that we offer here, um, just so you can see what you would like to book in the future. And this is 100% complimentary, um, just information for you to see what you like, what you don't like. Okay, so let's get started. Just going to warm my hands up. And is it okay if I touch you? Okay, perfect. We always like to ask for consent first. And just going to acclimate your body to my touch. So, we will start with a classic Swedish massage. sides here. Is the pressure okay on this? Working up the sides here. Good. Let me tuck you in a little bit better. Blanket's coming up. Okay, now let's move into our jujitsu massage, okay? So it's a little bit more of chopping motions. And let me know if I'm doing this too hard. And again. Okay. 
and do your legs. is more pressure um, but can give a lot of relief if you are very tight and have a lot of pain. Just working the muscles in a different way. All right, next we are going to get into an aromatherapy massage. So usually we would use um, aromatherapy oils. I will show you, for example, this oil and it is eucalyptus, but for the purpose of your introductory massage, we will just use a mist so you can see how it adds to the experience. Um, scent is heightened because your eyes are usually closed in the massage, so it's a really nice, relaxing, added benefit to go the aromatherapy. And I would like to mention that any of the massages you get, you can add aromatherapy. Yes. So just take a deep breath in, cleansing deep breath. Breathe in that eucalyptus smell and see how it kind of hits you and numbs. Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay. Now I'm going to move into a dry brushing massage. So I've got this brush and we just rub it on your skin to exfoliate kind of dead cells. Okay. And we'll go all down your leg. and then go back up. Very good. Okay, so this is just another way um, to pamper the skin while exfoliating all of those dead skin cells. Okay, and finally, we are just going to go into a sports massage, or it is commonly referred to as a deep tissue massage. Okay, perfect. So just sit back and relax. And I'm just going to feel where you have a lot of tension buildup. Are you fairly active? Okay, so a sports massage then would not be a bad idea for you. You do have quite a bit of tightness here. Okay, so that is 
going to be it going through the different types of massage. Um, now that you have the information, hopefully you can make an informed decision about what you would like to do. Um, when you book your full length massage, you can go out to the front and book with our receptionist. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Hello John. Nice to meet you. I am Dr. Bees. Welcome to my office. How are you doing today? Good. Good to hear. Feeling okay? Alright, great. Well, I think that we should start with today's session. Okay, so I do have your file here as well as my notes on your case, but part of the therapeutic process is the patient taking accountability for actions, so I would like you to tell me why you are in therapy today. Okay, thank you. Yes, so that is what my records reflect. You are here um, by court-mandated anger management? Yes. Um, my notes say you got into a fist fight with your boss. Yes, when you were trying to take vacation days that you did not have and you therefore got denied. Okay, so I don't need any explanation right now. Um, we can get into that a little later on. Um, but let's just talk about how you're feeling today. Okay, so I know you said that today's been a good day. You seem to be in relatively good spirits. Let's walk through kind of an average day for you, okay? Just tell me. Let's start what you do in the morning and kind of walk through. Okay, tell me everything. All right. Do you work out most days? Great. It's a really good way to blow off excess steam. Yes. I think that is a great thing for you to continue doing alongside our therapy sessions, okay? Yes. All right. Okay, so I'll stop you right there. Um, so you said you get to work, you're in a great mood, and you start conversing with this woman. Um, okay. Do you often have conflict with her? Okay. So it was a little bit of a trigger for you already before you had walked into the boss's office. taking note. And have you always, would you call yourself an angry person? You would not. Okay. Because self-reflection is a big part of what we're going to be doing in our time together. Okay. Do you think your friends and family would call you an angry person? Well, you can take a moment, think about it. It doesn't have to be unanimous, um, across all the family, friends. Some people, you know, see you at different times. Okay, I'm just gonna make a note of that. Please continue telling me about your day. Alright, so. Now that we've established the average day for you, would you say that the day of the incident, um, the timeline was fairly similar? Okay, so most days when you wake up, you are not feeling angry. You don't wake up with kind of a sense of anger at the world. You're usually in pretty good spirits. That's what I'm kind of getting. Okay. And then you get into work, um, maybe bump heads with coworkers. 
Do you feel that a lot of people in the office view things one way and you view them another? You know, kind of like, um, conflicting forces. Okay. Has it always been that way? Do you think that your coworkers view you as an opposing force? Or do you feel like it's kind of a one-sided thing? Do you think that your coworkers have a low opinion of you? Okay. Okay. That's okay. Feel free to use whatever colorful language comes to mind. Not a problem. Just gonna make a note of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, now that we have established that you do have a pattern of acting out angrily and now it has escalated to um, violence in the workplace. Okay, let's call a spade a spade. Um, tell me a little bit about your childhood. Okay, so pretty typical. And do you feel like those brothers um, picked on you in any way? Or do you feel like when you would get angry, they would reward that kind of behavior? I don't want to add too, I don't want to ask too many leading questions, but I'm picking up on that a little bit. Is that right? Am I way off? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. And do you have many friends? Do your friends get to experience this side of you? Okay. Well, that is, that is common. Um, you know, anger and rage can be funny to people that witness it that are not intimately connected. So, my recommendation would be, um, it is great that they accept you for who you are, but you don't want to spend too much time with people that encourage that kind of negative behavior. Okay, because then it kind of um, creates a pattern with positive reinforcement. So, if you act out angrily and it's getting attention or people are laughing, you know, it kind of forms that relationship. Right, okay. Yes. And we talked about, so we talked about being young, your brothers, some of your friends. Okay. Where do you think, let me just ask you a thoughtful question, where do you think this rage comes from? You think you were born with it? You think that you have certain triggers? Um, just let me pick your brain a little bit. Tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. And when you get to that tipping point, um, what is it that makes it so you kind of get into that, we'll just call it rage mode? What is your fuel that says, yes, do this. Yes, John, this is a good idea. Instead of, I'm about to punch my boss and now lose my job and have to come see me. <laughs> Dr. B's, um, every week for the next two months, right? Because we, at this point, we can see you made a bad decision, right? Okay, and we see that this decision has impacted many parts of your life. Yes. How is the job search coming, by the way? We're a little bit off topic, but I'm curious. Okay, so still looking. Yes, so I see how that could be a problem, and we will circle back to that because, yes, most places would want a letter of recommendation from your previous boss, but I see how that could be a problem, um, and I might be able to help you with that once we've finished our eight weeks together. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I could just, you know, give you a little note saying you've made progress, blah, 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 but we've got to make that progress, okay? Alright, 
Um, so, as our session comes to a close, um, what we really need to do is work on some strategies that are going to work for you next time you get into rage mode, okay? Alright, so, I know this is going to sound basic, but I really want you next time you get really mad to try to take a few deep breaths, right? But I know, like I said, very basic. Um, count to ten before you respond or act. Okay. <clears throat> and we can practice thinking of a happy place where John can go and there's nobody bugging him. Um, you know, very serene kind of meditation mental place where there's nobody that you want to punch. Yes. Okay. So, for example, let me help you because you might not understand. Um, my rage-free zone would be on a beach, um, perhaps I'm drinking a margarita, getting a nice suntan, I can hear the waves lapping onto the beach, um, and I am alone, right? Nobody around me that can bug me. I think that's important for you also, since it seems to be that the trigger is external forces. This is going to be John's rage-free zone. Um, nobody else is invited, okay? Alright, so that is your assignment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and next week when we meet back, I would be very interested to hear about your rage-free zone, okay? So this week, try to stay out of trouble. Keep those fists to yourself, mister. Yes. Okay, and I'll see you next week. work.